thank you for tuning in on a dose with D to get your dose today. I was just thinking about something. You know, people become who they are based off of what they've been through, based off of what they see, based off of what they experience, that whole nine. And if you've been taken advantage of so many times, your whole outlook on how to go about handling business is going to be completely different. I'm driving right now, so I won't be looking at the camera as often. But, uh, you know, I remember somebody had a, a real shitty contract. Just flat out, just foul contract. And it looked good. And, but you hear about this all the time in the music industry. You know, uh, people get so excited about signing with the record label. Um, well, back then, people got so excited about signing with a record label, they were just signing their lives away. That is a real thing, because they did not read the fine print. But do you know, after they got burnt by that, they're reading every fine print that the hands come across or that their eyes come across when it comes to reading paperwork? Now, I didn't get done in on a shitty contract, but I did get hit with some bills based off of not reading some, you know, fine print and understanding what I was reading. Per excited about the moment, but not thoroughly understand what I was signing. So I take the time to read it. I don't care if it takes me a couple days. If you want to do business with me, you can, I'm going to need those couple days to thoroughly go through this. And then I may even pass it um, to an attorney who's going to go through it also, just so I can make sure I'm on the right page. Um, another thing, ownership, ownership, ownership is starting to be the most, has always been the most powerful thing. And I, I'm really in that vein right now of ownership. I want to own everything that my hand comes across that I decide to put my foot into business to. I want to own it. And the reason why, piggybacking off the beginning of this video, I know what it's like to have something that you don't own and it get taken from you. Young and naive. I know that feeling. I know that feeling when somebody give you a gift and they say it's yours and then when they get pissed off, they take it away from you. And it's something that you actually love. You really love. Or, um... Somebody giving you money. And you start depending on that as a source of income. And then they stop. Like a job. You're going to that job as a source of income. And then they fire you. You know, it's like one of the things that you can say, what can you do besides use the skills that you have to go look for another job? But I want to own everything that my hands are a part of. I need to have ownership in it because I am so tired or have been so tired of things. In 600 feet, use the second from the right lane to take the Texas 288 South exit. Use the second from the right lane to take the Texas 288 South exit, then keep left at the fork. Ownership. Keep left at the fork. And you know one of the things... Continue for half a mile. You know, she always got something to say. I'm on the right path already. GPS. Let me turn her off real quick. 